Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat, and during your own research, you might have realized that everywhere on the internet it says hydronic floor heating systems are 30% more efficient than other forms of heating. Now, you might be wondering, is this actually true? The good news is that yes, it is true, but only if it's done right. Stick with me for the next 30 seconds. I'm gonna explain a few dry concepts, but it'll all make sense at the end. First, we need to understand the human body and how the human body gives off heat and receives heat from its surroundings, from the air, from everywhere. So predominantly, the human body gives off and receives most of its heat as radiation. And we're talking about 50 to 60% of the energy exchanged by your body is through radiation. So the vast majority. What radiation is, is it's a, it's a part of the light spectrum it is mainly in the infrared spectrum, so we can't see it, but it's how most of the heat is transferred. And it's sort of similar to standing out in the sun uh, on a cold winter's day, where you, the air might be cold, but you still feel warm because the sun is warming you up. The second most prevalent method of heat transfer from the human body is through convection. And convection is where energy is transferred through the movement of a fluid. So we can think of it as uh, air, when it, say, brushes past something warm, it heats up and it expands and it rises. And say in a room, the hot air will collect around the ceiling because that's it can't rise any further and the cooler air stays down the bottom. And it continually sort of cycles. So as it warms up, it'll rise and then as it cools down, it'll drop again. And approximately 25% of the energy from your body is transferred via convection. Now, there is also conduction, which is where your body is in direct contact with another object and transfers energy. That accounts for a small percentage. And so does evaporation. So when you're sweating, uh, the sweat evaporates and it, it, you lose heat that way. And from all of those figures, we can see that your body prefers to transfer energy via radiation. And so you might have noticed that perhaps when you walk into a, a room, when there's warm air in the room, it feels uncomfortable, you have dry eyes, you sort of don't like it. But if you walk into a room where there's floor heating or it's just been warmed up by the sun during the day and now that's re-radiating that heat out, that it feels much nicer. Sometimes you can feel it on the sidewalk during the day. Uh, it might be spring and it's cold but the sun has been shining on the concrete footpath all day and you can feel that warmth radiating out at you. Your body really, really loves this type of heat even though the air might be cold surrounding you. And so because with floor heating systems, the majority of the heat output is through radiation, that's where a lot of these internet websites get their 30% figure from, where they say that floor heating is 30% more efficient than other forms of heating. Now, from our experience over the last 27 years, there is, this is definitely one of the contributing factors to it being more energy efficient. But in Australia, the way we build the houses and how everything works from experience is more like 15%. The second reason why hydronic floor heating systems are super energy efficient is because they use low temperatures. Imagine in a room, you've got a gas heater in the corner. Now that gas heater has to heat up to 90, 100 degrees so that the heat travels to the other side of the room and that there is no or there aren't as many cold spots in the room and to generate that 90 degrees or that 100 degrees in that corner of the room it actually takes a lot of energy and it's quite inefficient because you have a lot of heat being generated on one side and it's really hot over there and then on the other side of the room it might be a lot colder and not only is it inefficient but it's also not very comfortable now with a floor heating system especially with the hydronic floor heating system where the temperatures are low, uh, the, the heat is spread out over the whole room, not just in one corner, but over the, all of the floor area of the room, and it is a low temperature. So you can't even feel it. It just feels totally natural, and that's why it feels so comfortable. And so because of this, it is also super efficient because you don't have to generate really high temperatures. You can just use low temperature water, let's say 40 degrees, and that is more than enough to keep every occupant in the house happy. So as we said at the start, it is true that hydronic heating systems are super energy efficient, but only if they are designed and installed well. Now we know that it's because 
they use radiation, so th that has to be accounted for in the building and in the heating system design, and that they use low temperatures. And if one of these is out of whack, then the whole system sort of becomes inefficient and even uncomfortable. So if you would like help in designing a really energy efficient and comfortable floor heating system for your house, give us a call. We can have a quick 15 minute chat about how best to integrate a hydronic system into your building.